Okay, we've been talking about the uh, time in Kings and Chronicles uh, when Israel and Judah were two different nations, and lately we've been focusing mostly on Israel. That's where Elijah did most of his, um, his preaching uh, and prophesying. Um, we killed Ahab off a couple weeks ago. Uh, probably the, the wickedest, if, or at least in the top three or four wickedest of kings that Israel had. Uh, so he's dead. His son became king, and I knew his son's name until I stepped up here. Uh, but it doesn't matter. He wasn't a good guy. He did destroy one of the idols of Baal, um, and that was good. But otherwise, he pretty much was like his dad. Uh, he didn't serve God, didn't acknowledge God. Uh, the Bible says that he fell through the lattice work at his palace and got hurt. And he was evidently hurt pretty bad. He called some messengers together and he told them to go to the prophets of Baal and find out if he was going to live or not. Well, after the messengers left him, they came across Elijah. Just happened to meet Elijah in the path. It's amazing how many things we call coincidence that are actually God going to get things to align right. Elijah told the messengers, is there no God in Israel? Why is the king sending word to the false males to ask his question? <coughs> you go back and you tell him, uh, that he's going to die because he didn't seek God for his answer. So they went back. They didn't finish what the king told them to do. They went back and talked to the king. And the king got a little upset. So he called his army commander. And he had the commander take 50 men, 50 soldiers, out to find Elijah and arrest him. Well, Elijah was sitting on top of a hill. They came up to him, and they said, The king commands you to come down. You're to go in front of him right now. Uh, and Elijah said, hmm. You know what? If I'm a prophet of God, then let fire fall from the sky and kill you. And it did. Uh, well, We'll put our lightning up there to symbolize that. Uh, that's what happened. All 50 men burned up. So the king sent a second group of 50, and they said the same thing to Elijah. He said the same thing to them. God did the same thing. They were all burned up. The king has not learned his lesson yet. He sent a third 50 men uh, to Elijah, but this commander was a little smarter. When he got to Elijah, he fell down on his face and he said, Please spare my life. I, I know you're a servant of God and, and I'm just on a message from the king. Please spare my life. And God told Elijah, He's safe to go with. He won't hurt you. So Elijah went before the king. Uh, he repeated his message. You're going to die because you don't seek God. And... Uh, you know, that's not good for your health. And the king died. And he didn't have any children, uh, so his brother became the king of Israel. And he wasn't any better of a king than he was. So, let's sing our song. Everybody ought to know Everybody ought to know
Everybody ought to know. Everybody ought to know.